With the second pick in the NBA draft, the Lakers chose UCLA point guard Lonzo Ball. I'm Denise Jones. Make sure to subscribe to The Fumble for all the latest news on the NBA. After Lonzo Ball's dream came true, he finally admitted that he'd felt this coming. Ever since my season at UCLA, I kind of felt confident. I just trusted my game. I knew I was going to be a top pick. When I saw they had second, it put a smile on my face. The former Bruins point guard said in a quiet moment between the constant stream of interviews and photo ops that come with being the number two pick in the NBA draft. After all the predictions, critics, and smoke screens, the Lakers made the obvious choice. They drafted the 19-year-old kid from Chino Hills, the best passer in the draft, and a player that Magic Johnson once said reminded him of himself. Let me know in the comments below if you think Lonzo is going to be enough to get the Lakers a championship. And though this was a dream of Lonzo, this was a bigger dream for his father, who gave the most LeVar Ball interview after his son was drafted to the Lakers. LeVar had four words, that's it. And those four words, I told you so. I'm not even surprised at that. In fact, he was so confident that he had a big baller brand hat ready in Laker colors, which he put on as soon as his son went on stage. When asked about when he actually made the hat, again, typical LeVar said when Lonzo was a baby. That's when he made the hat, when he was a baby. At this point, you can't help but, you know, just chuckle a little when LeVar answers some of these questions. But come on, man, a baby? I don't, I don't even know if to really believe that. Minutes after that, it was money-making time, and they went straight to it. LeVar and Big Baller Brand dropped Lonzo's newest shoe in Laker colors, of course, for, yeah, $495. I don't have that kind of money, LeVar, but if you want to shoot some this way, you know. <laughs> he didn't stop there either. He also guaranteed Lonzo was gonna take the Lakers to the playoffs and that he would get more than one son to the Lakers. And when asked how he was going to do that, he replied, the big baller brand way, ball control. <laughs> like, what? Ball control? What, Bro, what? The thing about it is we expect this behavior from LeVar. He's hated by many and recognizes that by playing the role of the heel to keep his name and his big baller brand name buzzing because, duh, negative attention is still attention, right? I mean, maybe he thinks that. LeVar Ball tossed his big baller brand hat right before he left into the stands and fans began booing him straight out of Barclays Center. I'm not surprised. At this point, we're all just, again, feeding onto it. I have to ask, do you think LeVar spoke this into existence? And if so, will we be seeing more ball kids on the Lakers in the future? Let me know in the comments below. For all the best game and sports news highlights, make sure to hit subscribe. For The Fumble, I'm Denise Jones.